Hi, Jackie Crino here, and welcome to another episode of Marketing 3.0 Weekly. In this new and constantly evolving world of marketing, what we refer to as Marketing 3.0, organizations like yours can significantly benefit from having in place a Marketing 3.0 blueprint that acts as a roadmap or a system for marketing most effectively and efficiently in the new world of marketing. In this episode of Marketing 3.0 Weekly, Peter Winters provides a thorough introduction to the opportunities, needs, and strategic development of a Marketing 3.0 Blueprint for your organization. Let's go to the video. Hi, Peter Winters here, one of the co-founders of Big Dog Innovations, talking about the opportunity of the Marketing 3.0 Blueprint being your guideline or your roadmap for your Marketing 3.0 activities going forward. There are four or five points I'd like to make about the blueprint itself. First and foremost is the opportunity for the marketing executive in terms of increased rates of conversion, lowered cost of acquisition, and better insight into overall performance of marketing investment. Given the marketing technologies, the new media formats that exist today, and the changes in customer and prospect behavior, and your opportunity to be more proactive, more strategic, in engaging in conversation with your prospects and customers. Regardless of which marketing cycle, the opportunity in the 3.0 world is for you to be more conversant, be more able to capture activity and preferences and changing experiences of your customers and prospects in this new media age. There's a lot of moving parts given the marketing technologies that exist, the new media formats, the changes in customer behaviors, and even the new marketing strategies that would be part of this deployment environment. When we're working with organizations developing these marketing 3.0 business plans, marketing plans, we're starting with this blueprint. We're setting up a foundational conversation of business strategy that ends up becoming a blueprint in the form of a roadmap, which would guide all of your subsequent activity going forward such as what you would do in the initial design and optimization phase, and then on to the subsequent phases of deployment in the marketplace across all of those different media formats and marketing cycles, ultimately culminating in measurement and refinement of a customer-centric marketing effort. And talking a little bit more specifically about the blueprint itself, there's three aspects to the blueprint uh, part of the process. The strategy session or the strategy engagement environment where you're looking at the business from its totality and starting with a wireframe, a foundational tool that would become the guideline for taking existing objectives and strategies and overlaying the new marketing technologies onto the existing objectives and strategies to augment um, the marketing outcomes that are available. Out of this strategy and wireframe environment comes the blueprint, which becomes the guideline, the roadmap for your subsequent activities going forward. This is a very different world of marketing that we live in today. It's not simply bolting on new media formats and technologies onto existing methods, methodologies of doing business. It really calls for a holistic way of going out to the marketplace in a very different kind of environment. So a little bit more on the strategy and the wireframe that we use that ultimately begets that marketing 3.0 blueprint, that roadmap, if you will, on a a going forward basis. That, That strategy wireframe component from our perspective consists of five layers of discussion. The first of them being the business objectives of the organization the variances in customer segments, the services that are offered, and what the organization is trying to achieve, and what the marketing department is doing to help the achievement of those objectives. The second component is the marketing cycles. What exists for an organization in terms of the initial awareness, consideration, preference, conversion, loyalty, referral processes of an organization, and the relationship between marketing and sales. With the new marketing technologies and media formats that exist today, it's much more prevalent for the marketing department to be able to augment 
the marketing life cycles, the wireframes of conversion processes with the new media technologies, new marketing technologies that exist today, which would take us to the third component of that strategy wireframe environment. The voice of customer marketing opportunities, the ongoing development of call to actions, engagements across all different media uh, formats where you're trying to be more conversant, more capturing of activities, conversations, stated preferences and changing experiences of the customer and prospect behavior, and then being proactive and relevant in the follow through. Moreover, in this voice of customer marketing environment, in a marketing 3.0 world, the opportunity for you to set up as a company culture and as a business practice, the, the aspect of being more conversant on a continual basis with your prospects, customers, donors, voters, uh, uh, constituency, whatever it might be, depending on your industry type, that whole voice of customer marketing rubric is an important step into the achievement of new rates of conversion in that marketing 3.0 world, which gets us to the fourth component, which is the consideration of the existing media formats, the net new media formats, and even the changes in marketing cycles, the differences between traditional outbound marketing with the augmentation of traditional outbound marketing with more conversation management as part of an intentional strategy of out, outbound marketing, along with net new inbound marketing and the media formats that are consistent with more of that inbound marketing environment, such as online, blog, social media, mobile marketing types of environments. And how do organizations best marry, best mix, best optimize the traditional, what was the mass media, one directional environment into more of that two directional, optimized traditional media and new media environment? Which brings us to the fifth component which is of the wireframe, which is how does an organization establish benchmarks of this new strategy for augmented rates of conversion? And what's being done to, to measure, analyze, and refine the efforts of a customer-centric marketing environment? That 3.0 blueprint of engagement and proactive relevant follow-through to increase conversion rates is that critical first step in bringing it all together. We look forward to dialoguing with you more on these opportunities. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and or subscribe to our marketing content on our website at BigDogInnovations.com.